working, don't you see? Oh. Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Oh, Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Or what? You manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. You know what? Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that! Whoa! Oh yeah. Ow. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> Win. We'll see about that. <laughs> Come <Yeah>. here. <laughs> oh, oh, I go to crash you. Oh yeah. You in what army? No, it's called winning. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Uh. Okay. Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. 
Uh, it's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. How do you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. What? Uh, hold on a minute. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your father. Think I should go? Well, it's up to you, really. Ought to decide for yourself. But I want your opinion. Should I go or not? Well, if I if I knew my father was looking for me, I probably would go and see him, no matter what the context. Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go. He is your father. Fazima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. Good. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and Suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. I was due. I always keep my word. As do I. Your reward. That's not why I did it. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here. I did just that. Siri will hear you out. Then we leave. Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. I'm sure. I'll manage. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coin. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred milf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to oh. see you. Greetings, General. General. No trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. 
None. No. I take it you crossed via the ford near Banglin? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. You think he'll Cyril just give up her life to stay in here? Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Why not? Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate rather. Yep. Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes, very specific. And thoroughly absurd. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared oh. coming here. And the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. Yeah. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imnareth attends too, as the crones guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. Right, and uh... we stand to find Imlarith here. You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. All right, well, what are we waiting for then? Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. Havelach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Karanthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Really? 
Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. Hmm. Well, maybe we should. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Right. Well, mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess, the young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Valen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. I see. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Hmm. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No oh. need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Hmm. And uh, the children, what do you do with them? Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Right. Um. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. All right, question one. I gotta go. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Right. Maybe we'll do just that then. Look, a child. Um... No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back! And I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. Yeah? We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. 
See, I saw you running your back to me as I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Well... Hold on, what brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? Well... We gotta climb a mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. What makes you say that? The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief! You're worse than children! Oh. Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What oh. is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. Yeah, well, there's no fooling with me. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Well... Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Hmm. Hope so too. It's clearing up. Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Uh... Can I go with her? If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will oh. send alone. What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them, and they start life anew. The lass were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. Well, you know what? I'm going with her. <laughs> He's firing his gut. What do you see? 
He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Oh. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. <sighs> what challenge? What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. Alright, fine. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Aura. Now, bring me the coin. Alright. There we go. Here goes nothing. Oh. Uh huh. Drowners. When you said the waters are murky, you didn't. You didn't tell me that there was gonna be drowners in here. What the hell? Oh. Is that it? Oh. Alright. Well, that was simple enough. I was beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's afoot. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Got got the coin. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, can I keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop lying. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zubal. Alright though. Oh? Mm. What's your name, girl? What's yours? Mm. Your name don't matter. Atop the peak you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? something to do up there, so just let us through. Ha ha ha! Given me orders? You? A human? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers Orum. A death sentence. Um... Come, come again? What do you mean a death sentence? What? Oh! Uh. Fucking prick. One tough son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crowns. Oh. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh. There you go. Eh. Mm. Uh. Damn it! Two out of three! That's right. Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. Uh, 
We must get down there. All right. Time to hunt down some crones. There we go. What's going on, ladies? You would return. Your Is that so? On our tongues. You've talked enough. Let me give you another taste. Ow! Your reign here is over. Give me that. Oh. Damn it. Him the red set the summit. Gotta be. Yeah. Time to hunt down an NL. <laughs>
The sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? Yeah, we're both here. Where is the girl? Doesn't matter. You'll never get her. You fall great to the bitter end. I trust this time will be no different. Of course. <laughs> To fight like this. The Witcher you slew. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? We slew only two of the crows. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion, my sole memento. Hmm. Well, you avenged Vesemir. Avalarch claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Now to find Eredin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Sure. Yeah, let's get going. Thank you for coming with me. Come here. Let's go. Is dead. The oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Uh, find other magical trees. I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. You must learn to live without them. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage on your own.
than non-humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated, and witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Gandhi Lion! Ready some tankards! With guests! Geralt! Siri! When I learned Geralt had found you? Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Uh, around. You know. Went to Care Morin first, then Velen. Leave him alone, Zoltan. Can't you see their beat? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Sure. So, anything happened while we were away? Uh, pretty Polly came down with a fever, Matt Oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, right. and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Oh. Good. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is... I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. Oh, brother. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To uh, the Sabbath? Uh, How could you uh, be uh, in danger? Siri had to do it. I couldn't let her go alone. You'd have done the same in my boots. Besides, I'd never let anything happen to Siri. You know that. So, um... Past burning pyres on the way into town. Non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mages left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve yeah. everything as quickly as possible and leave Novigrad. That's probably for the best. Any success with the lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira? Margarita? Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people would know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that. As she needed the impetus to start anew, she found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. Hmm. Well, do we know where they are? Know where they are? 
Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. And? Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. Sure. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Uh... Lay it on me. Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Muin, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vleister. Philippa and a former lover? Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dinoidium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarven acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Zoltan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Of course you did. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the Owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. Mm. We got any leads? We have this. Oh. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. Alright, let's do this. One outside the passive flora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Fleer, Robert Michele, Alfelte. What's that? Um. Nothing. A preliminary image. What? Stop interrupting. I have to focus. Graham et Fleer, right. Agnes Kerle, as Pirchena, as Clays. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Uh. That was the recent past. Anything might happen to her in Dijkstra's hands. Let's go. Not so fast. The first image. What was that? Nothing. Really. Don't brush me off. I know how hydromancy works. Image appeared because you're thinking about it. It was... King Tancred asked me to become his court advisor in Kavir. Oh. And? You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. Did you accept? Only a fool would refuse. Tancred's been supportive of the mages from the start. The evacuation was only possible with his help. Now he wants to revive the Council and the Conclave, and I'm to head both. Really? It's a great opportunity. Congratulations. You don't exactly sound thrilled. Bit worried, that's all. You really ready to dive into politics again? I wasn't sure at first. Ultimately, though, it's something I've always dreamed of. The dream's within reach now. I'm not about to let it go. Tancred's picked a strange battle. All the North's hunting down mages, and he's out to revive the Council? These are troubled times, and Tancred could be alone in remembering that mages are a powerful force. And that we know how to show gratitude. <sighs> right. And the house? The vision was of a house, not a royal court. It's the house that awaits us in Pont Vanis. Oh. 
Oh. When we're done here, when all this is over, once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri's safe, I'd like us to live there, together. Uh, well... I'm... surprised. I don't really know what to say. You don't need to decide right away, but I'm glad you know. I was afraid how you'd react. It's a big deal. We settling to a permanent home. Yeah. If you don't want this, I'll turn it down. What I really want is to be with you. To, to be together and... Triss. Yes? We'll be together. And you don't need to turn anything down. <laughs> I'll tell you the details later. Right now, we need to get Philippa. Right. Yeah. Come on. Philippa. Right. Let's go. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Watch out. Oh, whoa. Guess they underestimated Philippa. What's going on in here? Surrender! Whoa. This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee uh, this way. Fine. Be right back. Alright. Excuse me. Damn, she cast a spell on them. Oh. He's gonna die. Oh. Get lost. Don't have time to play. Where'd she- Oh, seriously? How did she know about this place? What? Whoa, 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 Who's- Oh, no. Witcher, no past go. Bertie, birdie, no say. Damn, he cast a spell on him, too. Uh... She's hurt. Did you see that? I want to help her. Birdie, no. Past, go. Say, but, no. Let, past, go. <sighs> Ever had a stomach ache? Mm. Ache? Hi. But, once old, drown her eat. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no want drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let pass go. With your help. All right. Thank you, Bart. 
I knew you were always reasonable. Let's talk about this, Felipa. I don't have any beef with you. I'm not out to hurt you. Bollocks. You will not take me. I want to help you. Well, forgive me, but I just don't believe you. What? Seriously? Gotta be kidding me. Get that shit out of my face. What happened? So quiet all of a sudden. Long dead by now. Oh, what do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will. Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra. Dijkstra. Time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. Not gonna demonstrate a damn thing. I need her. And I don't give a flying fuck. I've awaited this moment forever. So, very sorry, but I care as much about your plans as I do about the snows of Mahakam. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his arse, eh? Hmm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. If Amir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Ziggy, I am impressed. Doubted you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. Not gonna happen. Think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. 
Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet, with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sure. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Cool.